A night out in West London ended in unspeakable tragedy for NHS worker and mother of three, Natalie Schotter. The 37-year-old was discovered dead on a park bench, a victim of an assault that has horrified the community. As the trial unfolds, the court is hearing the grim details of how Natalie was allegedly raped repeatedly while unconscious, an ordeal that led to her death. The chilling case brings into focus the vulnerability of women and the dark consequences of exploitation. In today's video, we'll dive into the shocking case of Natalie Schotter's death. We'll break down the harrowing testimony, the key arguments presented by the prosecution, and the defendant's plea. This is a story that exposes the tragic vulnerability of a woman taken advantage of in her most helpless state, in the search for justice for her and her family. Stay with us as we examine the details of this deeply troubling case and what we can learn from it. A life cut tragically short. Natalie Schotter, described as a hard-working NHS worker and a devoted mother of three, had her life brutally stolen in the early hours of July 17, 2021. Jurors heard how Natalie, struggling with mental health issues and substance dependency, had been out enjoying herself in Southall, West London, when her night took a dark and tragic turn. According to the prosecution, Natalie's vulnerability left her prey to the defendant, Ido Mohammed, who allegedly took advantage of her in her unconscious state. The court learned that Natalie, small in stature and weakened by the effects of alcohol and possibly inhaled substances, was found lifeless on a park bench hours after the alleged assault. The CCTV footage, though grainy, reportedly captures Mohammed committing acts of oral penetration, his victim motionless and unresponsive. Prosecutor Allison Morgan Casey emphasized that at no point could Mohammed have believed that Natalie was conscious or consenting, casting a light on the horrific abuse she endured before her death. A vulnerable target. Miss Schotter's life had not been easy. The court heard that she struggled with mental health challenges, alcohol dependency, and drug use. Her vulnerabilities made her susceptible to exploitation, especially on that fateful night. Jurors were told that although Natalie had been drinking and possibly inhaled the legal high known as amyl nitrate, her cause of death was not due to substances. Rather, the prosecution argues, it was the repeated, brutal sexual assault that led to her death. Natalie's last hours paint a haunting picture. CCTV from earlier that evening shows her enjoying the music outside a shop, happy and carefree. It's a stark contrast to the fate that awaited her on a park bench, where, according to the prosecution, she lay unconscious, a target for a predator. The footage presented in court allegedly shows Mohammed raping her multiple times as she lay helpless, her body offering no resistance. The image of a vulnerable woman, left to die after such a horrific act, has left jurors and the community reeling. A search for justice. Ido Mohammed, 35, stands accused of rape and manslaughter. He has denied the charges, but the prosecution's case is strong, relying heavily on the CCTV footage and the circumstances of Natalie's death. While no physical evidence of stab wounds or severe injury was found, the prosecution argues that the assault itself was the fatal blow. Mohammed's defense will likely hinge on questions of intent and consent, but as the footage shows, Natalie was unconscious throughout the attack, making consent impossible. As the trial progresses, the court and Natalie's family seek justice for the horrific way in which she lost her life. This case raises difficult questions about the safety of vulnerable individuals, especially women, in public spaces. It also forces a broader conversation about the dangers that individuals with mental health and substance abuse issues face when left unprotected in society. The outcome of this trial will not only determine Mohammed's fate but will also shape the public's perception of accountability in cases of sexual violence. The tragic death of Natalie Schotter is a sobering reminder of the dangers that exist for vulnerable women in our society. As her case unfolds in court, we are faced with the chilling reality of exploitation, abuse, and a life stolen too soon. What are your thoughts on this heart-wrenching case? Do you think justice will be served for Natalie and her family? Share your comments below, and be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the trial and other important stories like this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.